Hi, welcome back to OMG The Cloud. Today in our container series, we're going to be deploying a Docker Swarm. And on top of that, we're also gonna deploy Portainer. So this is a nice like GUI way to manage uh, either standalone Docker hosts or a whole swarm. So it uses a nice web interface. And then for each of the hosts that are attached on the back end, it deploys an individual agent so that it can talk to those hosts across you know, no matter how large that network is. So why don't we step into that real quick. If you've been following along in this series, we just have a single Docker host deployed. So let's go ahead and expand upon that. We want to just spin up another VM, install Docker, install Docker Compose, and then we need to initialize that swarm. So let's get that going. I'm going to get into my first host. And from here, if we do docker ps, we'll see docker's installed, but there's nothing running on there. Let's go ahead and initialize that swarm. So we wanna do docker swarm init. Perfect, so what this is gonna do is it's going to set up this first node and it's going to, by default, make it the manager of this swarm go forward. So now what we need to do is just copy and paste this line that it gives us to our worker nodes and this will join them so that we'll have a swarm. So I'm gonna copy this line here and I'm gonna exit out of this node and I'm gonna get into my second node and all I need to do is paste in that line that was provided by our manager node. And it's gonna tell us that this node is joined as a worker. And you can do this on as many nodes as you want to have in your swarm. We're just gonna do two to start out. So let's exit out of here and go back into our first node. And in our first node, let's just take a look at what that swarm looks like. So we're just gonna do Docker, node ls and it sees that we now have two nodes in our swarm that's pretty simple right terrific well let's see if we can go ahead and deploy something to that so why don't we start out with going back to portainer i think that's a good place to start so let's go in and create a folder structure so i have my docker folder that we used previously and this is where we did our sample deploy of a wordpress so let's make a new one for portainer and edit that configuration file. In fig, we'll go ahead and just drop in our pre-formatted Docker Compose file. So let's just step through this really quick. In our services list, we have the portainer agent. So this is gonna go out to every node in the swarm. And we'll see if you, if you step through here what it's doing. It's mapping the docker.soc file um, so that it can communicate. Uh, it's specifying a specific network, make sure it's communicating on the same network across all of the agents. And then we're deploying it globally. And we can see under the constraints for that, we're looking for anything where node.platform.os equals Linux. So this is gonna go across all of them. We're not, we're not skipping anything. Okay, so that's the agent section. And then Portainer itself, the web UI, that's our second section here. And we're giving it a few configuration points. We're exposing it on port 9000. We're gonna give it uh, some volume information. In fact, I'm gonna change this up just a little bit here because I know that this configuration is specific to a different config. And so I'm gonna pull this out and that's gonna be our persistent volume. And again, we're gonna use the same network. You can specify a DNS if you need to, depending on your environment. And in fact, for my particular configuration, I'm gonna take that out too. And we want just one copy of this, Portainer UI itself. And for its placement constraints, we want this to go on the manager node. So that way I have the web UI in a predictable location in case I'm mapping that out through a NAT or something like that, okay? So we've defined our networks here. It's an overlay network, it's attachable and we're also defining our volumes. So let me make sure I get this correct. It's portainer dash data, not underscore. One last thing, let me pull the DNS entry out up here too. Okay, that's gonna do it. Go ahead and save that, and then let's deploy it. So we're gonna do docker stack deploy dash C docker compose portainer. And this should look familiar. It's gonna create the overlay network and it's gonna start creating those services and it's gonna start deploying the agent. Now, since there's only one worker node, there's only one additional agent to push out to a different host, so this is a fairly quick process. Let's take a look, Docker PS, and we will see that Portainer agent running. Fantastic. So while that's completing, let's go ahead and switch over to our firewall. You recall that's running on port 9000. I'm gonna just do a straight NAT. So let's go ahead and just add a NAT. 
I'm going to do TCP UDP port 9000 and we're going to send this to a single host 10.1.20.51 on 9000 on the inside as well save and apply okay so let's just pop back over to our first node again I want to see we saw the agent was running earlier I want to see if the whole portainer web UI is up and running too so docker ps yeah there it is so now we see we have two things running on our first node. One is the Portainer web UI itself, and the other one is the Portainer agent. And while it was finishing building that, uh, we went ahead and did the firewall NAT. So let's head back over and see if we can connect to it. Hey, there we are. So now we have Portainer up and running. This will start you out with just a basic, you know, enter a password and confirm it. So let's do that and it's gonna take you into your landing page. We have a primary node here. We can take a look at our stacks. We see there's one stack called Portainer. That's the one we launched. There are two services running under that. Let's take a peek at these services. So if we expand these out. So this is the Portainer web UI itself and we can see it's running here. It looks like it started up a few times before it worked out what's going on. We can look at that later. And secondarily, our Portainer agent, which is running on each of our two nodes, so OMG test 01, OMG test 02. And this is how we're able to communicate and talk to those over a nice web UI without having to get too deep into the command line. Now, command line for Docker is absolutely critical, but there are, cer there are certainly times when you just wanna get in here really quick, see what's going on, restart a service, restart a container, and this will be a good way to do that. You can also review logs, you can go straight into the shell session uh, on a running container some of those types of things. All things that you can perfectly well do in the command line. Sometimes you just want a UI option if you just want to pop in there really quick and this is a good way to do that. Okay, so this was an introduction to Portainer and setting up a quick two node cluster. Let me know down in the comments what else you'd like to see in the container series. If there's particular topics you'd like me to cover when it comes to like overlay networking or Mac VLAN or some of the more advanced things in containerization, I'd be happy to cover those topics. Give me a thumbs up if you like this topic, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you see the next one coming through, and that's gonna be it. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.